If sampling indicates varroa mite levels in your colonies are high enough to exceed thresholds or cause concern, consider treatments that fit within your integrated pest management strategy. For more information on integrated pest management and mite thresholds, see the Tools for Varroa Management Guide and the Introduction and Sampling Methods videos in this series. This video shows when and how to use oxalic acid for varroa mite control. Other videos in this series discuss other control chemicals and techniques. The best times to use oxalic acid are during the population decrease and dormant phases, when there is little or no brood in the colony. Don't use oxalic acid if colonies are in enclosed, overwintering sites. It is not effective during the population increase phase unless brood is reduced. Do not use during population peak or when honey supers are on colonies. Oxalic acid is a naturally occurring acid found in plants. It can effectively remove phoretic mites from the bodies of adult bees. It does not control mites in capped brood. Always read the product labels to make sure that you are applying oxalic acid properly and safely. Wear goggles, chemical resistant gloves, and a respirator when mixing and applying oxalic acid. Avoid splashing the mixture. There are three approved methods for treating mites with oxalic acid. The first method is to mix oxalic acid with sugar syrup and spray it on packages of adult bees. Mix 35 grams, or 1.2 ounces, of oxalic acid dihydrate crystals into one liter of one-to-one -one warm sugar syrup. Before applying the oxalic solution to package bees, first engorge bees with a plain sugar spray, and then wait for two hours. This will slow their ingestion of the oxalic solution. Spray the packages with 31 milliliters, or approximately five teaspoons, for a three pound package, or 21 milliliters, three and a half teaspoons, for a two pound package. It is recommended to wait three days before installing treated packages in hives. A second method is to drizzle oxalic solution onto bees. This is usually done during the dormant season on clustered bees for best results. Use the same solution of 35 grams or 1.2 ounces of oxalic acid mixed into one liter of one-to-one -one sugar syrup. With a syringe, trickle five milliliters of the solution into spaces between frames. Do not exceed maximum colony dose of 50 milliliters. A third method is to vaporize or sublimate oxalic acid to fumigate the colony. You need an application tool that heats and vaporizes the oxalic acid crystals. Some tools take longer than others to cool down between applications. Beekeepers with more colonies will want to use a vaporizer that works more rapidly. Close all upper colony entrances and restrict the lower entrance. Use dosing spoon to place one gram of oxalic acid powder onto the vaporizer. Insert the vaporizer into the entrance of the colony. Close this final opening. Turn on the vaporizer to heat the crystals and leave in place until all oxalic acid has sublimated. You may see fog exit from cracks and crevices. It's critical to use a respirator when fumigating and absolutely avoid breathing the acid fumes. Oxalic acid can be a highly effective treatment for removing mites from adult bees, but you need to use it carefully. Follow the approved methods for your state or province. Don't use oxalic acid when colonies have large amounts of brood or when supers are present. 
Repeated exposure to oxalic acid can harm bees. After treatment, always resample the colony's varroa mite levels to confirm that the treatment was effective. Thanks for watching this video from the Honey Bee Health Coalition. Visit honeybeehealthcoalition.org and download the Tools for Varroa Management Guide, which has more detailed information on all the topics in this video series. All videos are provided free of charge, and we encourage you to share them.